Hi, I'm Maribeth Quinn, and I'm a mixed media collage artist from Nashville, Tennessee. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how I burst through my creative comfort zone, because let me tell you, that comfort zone will get you. It will keep you stuck. You probably know what I'm talking about. When you try to branch out, but it just starts feeling so uncomfortable and it makes you have sensations like you feel paralyzed or you don't know what to do next. That's that comfort zone telling you to get back to where it feels safe. But in that safe zone is not where your work develops. So I'm gonna show you this process that I use where I create a whole bunch of paintings all at once very fast. I have three things that I do that I watch out for while I do this exercise that keeps me moving forward. It gets me out in front of my thoughts so that my thoughts about being uncomfortable don't overtake me and I just keep moving. And by the end, I've created work that is beyond what I was making before. And that's the whole point. Hang in there with me. The whole first part of this video is going to be in high speed because I want to accentuate to you exactly why moving quickly makes you do different things. The last part of the video, I'm gonna slow it down. You'll be able to see more of what I'm doing. But in the end, I think you will understand why this process is so valuable in your practice. I'm making a class on this process right now. So if you're really interested in it, keep a lookout for the class. It's coming up very soon. You'll see why this process helps you break through and get past your comfort zone so you can do something new. So I'll tell you in a minute what my three ways of ensuring that I burst through my comfort zone are. But first, I'll give you a little background here. I just get a piece of 24 by 18 mixed media paper. I mask it off so I have 12 approximately six by six squares. And then I just use three colors plus black and white and I begin painting. Now, the first way that I ensure that I break through my comfort zone is that I move so quickly. Of course, not this quickly, but I never stop. I don't think, I don't think about making a landscape. I just keep moving forward. And I don't even think about where I'm putting the paint. I don't think about where I'm putting these collage papers. I'm just moving quickly and doing whatever comes to mind, whatever impulse I have. So now you see me adding some darker paint to just have areas of contrast. I have not planned out any of these little paintings. I'm just placing marks wherever. And now I'm going through and knowing that I'll have sky in the top and land in the bottom, then I sort of begin placing colors accordingly. But I'm still really purposely trying to be extremely messy and loose, which that is my second thing that I do to ensure that I'm breaking through my comfort zone. I purposely try to be messy and loose. And then the third thing that I do, and you could really see it when I was placing collage papers on this painting, is I try to use patterns and shapes that are out of place. They're not representational in, in any way. I'm just placing them there. So you can see some words from poetry, you see some patterned paper, some will be in the sky, some will be where the land is. I'm purposely trying to put them in places that someone might say don't belong in a landscape. So now I'm at the stage where I've cut them all apart so I can begin dealing with them separately. I will slow down a bit at this stage. I'll begin examining it to see what I see. I'll look for a tree line or I might look for a cloud. I did go through 
just previous to this with a little bit of fluid acrylics and put them across the sky and then I used a dark a darker sepia color to uh, maybe sort of shore up my tree lines or whatever lines I wanted to go through but I didn't determine at all what these paintings were going to look like until after I already had a lot of paint and shapes and collage on the paper. In fact, I made sure that I I wasn't trying to dictate it at all. And it was only at a certain stage that I would stop and really take a look at it, really see what came forward for me. And then I would begin refining a bit at that stage but I'm still because this is an exercise in pushing my work out of that comfort zone pushing myself out of that comfort zone I'm still trying to be very messy and you can see it looks very primitive and rough and that's exactly what I'm going for because when I start trying to be highly representational or make something really attractive, I begin getting very tight. I begin getting very precise and I start holding tightly. I start attaching. I start trying to protect things. And these exercises are so important because they give me spaces in which I don't have to protect anything. I can take this painting right here and I can toss it in the trash if I want to. So there's nothing to lose. And I think it's that attachment to this has to look good, this has to be something I could sell, or this has to be something I can show to someone. I think that's where it's really easy to get hung up and get really tight in our painting. As you can see, these are all very loose and primitive looking, very rough. And that's exactly what I was going for. I want you, the onlooker, to look at these paintings and to not quite be sure what you're looking at. I want your imagination to try to fill in the blanks. I know that if I can achieve this in the extreme, then when I go to paint something next, it will have moved the needle for me. I will be looser when I'm painting for someone else or, or doing a commission. It will have moved it to a different place. And I've achieved it with this exercise. So this just shows you, I did a little mock-up to show you how they can really look in frames. And I love this exercise. I hope you try it. And if you would like to get notified about my new class that's gonna be coming up very soon on landscapes, you can sign up uh, with the link in the description. You can also get my free collage kit, absolutely free resource to get you started with collage. And if you really wanna go for it, come join my class, Learning to Paint with Paper. It's so much fun. I'm having so much fun with the wonderful, wonderful people in this class. So I hope you come visit me on Instagram and thanks for being with me today.